Welcome to ICF Cambodia. I'm glad that you clicked on this video in our series, Move. We are living in a time where we have to make many, many challenging decisions all the time. And it's difficult to make conscious and courageous decisions that are good for our lives. We will explore practical tools that will help you make courageous and good decisions for your future. With God's help, you are able to make the best decisions in your life. I hope this video will touch you and change your life in the future. I am where I am because of my decisions. I am here tonight because of decisions I made in my past. You are here tonight because of decisions you made earlier. Some decisions I made were stupid. And some decisions are amazing. We are making big decisions in our lives. And when we think about what should we learn, in what direction do I want to develop? Another big decision is who will I marry? Because it's it's not it's it's for life. The one you marry, you marry for life. And then sometimes we get in the in the situation where we need to do quick decisions. You look and you see online this beautiful motorbike. And, 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 and you look at it and you say, I need to have it. I don't know how I can live without. I need it. Tonight. Tonight. What if somebody else buys it and there's no more motorbikes in the world? And it was the last one ever. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe tonight is the last time they're going to make motorbikes for the rest of the future. I need to act now. We decide too quickly. And then we regret. When we want to decide too fast, we need to hit pause. Hit pause. Take a break. Stop and think. Ask a few questions first. Would Jesus do it? Jesus does what honors the Father. That means he does not do what he wants. What he does is to honor the Father. In the Bible we read, try to learn what pleases God. Does this please God or is just what I want? Another question to ask, do I have inner peace? Do I have peace about this? And then next is, what do my spirit-filled friends say? Spirit-filled friends, what is that? Friends that also have the Holy Spirit. Friends that also follow Jesus. What do they say about this? I remember when uh, my wife and I, we, decided, we were thinking about having children. We were thinking, do we have inner peace? 
both of us need inner peace if we want to make a baby. So we ask spirit-filled friends. And one friend said, Why don't you wait with making babies? Until you're financially in a good situation. Because the decision to make babies is good. But what about the timing? Is it the right time? And we decided to wait seven years. And I think these seven years were very important for our relationship. For me to be ready to be a dad. When is the right time? We need to know that we need to put God first. We will reap what we sow. We will reap what we sow. Give your worries to God and he will take care of you.